Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Chris. I'm gonna do a real quick side-by-side -side comparison of two very popular perfumes right now. The first is Rosanna Mathieu, number five, and the second is Baby Cat by Yves Saint Laurent. I've received so many DMs and messages regarding these fragrances, their differences, and their similarities. I'm gonna to try to do it very quickly for you. I'm gonna to try to break it down really quickly. First of all, let's start with number five. I have had this for a while, and it is a beautiful amber floral mask. In fact, it says it right there on the bottle. I do love this perfume. I think it is beautiful. I do not like the opening, however. The opening is something I could do without. I definitely pick up a burned rubber of sorts and there are several notes listed in this perfume and I will put them up on the screen. I think that burned rubber is coming from spices and some exotic florals in here. So perhaps the way all the notes are combined, the end result is that burned note or the burned rubber note that doesn't last forever, but it's very prominent and very noticeable in at least the first two hours. When this fragrance dies down, it's very strong, but when it starts to fade and dry down, you get into more of that beautiful, leathery, amber musk. It becomes a little bit more powdery in the dry down, and I definitely get a very warm, almost a leathery amber in the dry down. It becomes a little bit more sweet. It develops an ambery sweetness, but it's still very warm and it has a rich cocooning musk to it. This fragrance is very, very strong. It lasts all day, I would say a solid eight to 12 hours, depending on how much you spray, et cetera, et cetera. I was so kindly given a fairly large decant of Baby Cat back in the summer by a lovely friend, Dirk. Thank you very much for this. And I did a very bad thing. I sampled it on paper and kind of rushed to a judgment and thought they just smelled too similar for me to track down a full bottle, which at the time, as we all probably know, is not an easy task. But after I did a proper wearing, particularly wearing them side by side, I realized there are a ton of differences, and I certainly have a preference out of the two. Now, Baby Cat, on the other hand, is what I would describe as a resinous, incensey vanilla. I personally, we all pick up different things, I personally get a ton of smoky incense right away, and it kind of lasts for several hours, which is good because I am a big incense fan. I love incense, and I get something that smells like frankincense. So it's very, it's warm, it's incense-y. There is black pepper, there's red pepper in here, so it's very spicy, peppery, incense-y, and very warm in the beginning. There is no burnt rubber note at all. So they're t the two are very, very different in the opening. This one also has a nice spiciness from saffron. All those notes come together and it's very, very warm. And as this dries down, instead of going into the kind of the musky, ambery direction, this goes into a more sweeter, vanillic dry down. The dry down is sweet. I still can detect some incense, some smoky incense and there's a real soft but present leather. So it's smoky, it's warm and leathery, and it's sweet. Baby Cat is not the powerhouse of number five, but here's the interesting thing. I spritzed this on one of my arms maybe like four days ago, and just one arm, put a coat on. It's super cold right now. We're having a cold snap, so I had a sweater. I spritzed it three times, put a coat on, ran to the UPS, and mind you, I had spritzed my perfume a good three to four hours before. I went to the desk and was there for a minute. As I was walking out, the gentleman behind the desk said, and by the way, you smell ridiculously good. I, so I was really surprised. I could detect still the presence of the fragrance. I thought the scent bubble was very small, but apparently it has a beautiful sillage. And I would say out of the two, Number five lasts a little bit longer, but they still have great longevity. So after having both, and again, I had the tester in the summer, so I've been able to test them for a while. The full bottle didn't get to me till last week, so I've had the full bottle for about five days. I do have a favorite, and my favorite is Baby Cat, and I'll tell you why. I'm not a fan of the, the burned rubber note, number one, 
I still love number five. It's a beautiful scent. My preference, however, is Baby Cat. It does not have that burned rubber. It has a beautiful smoky incense. It's a little bit sweeter. It goes into a sweeter direction. I do like my sweet fragrances and it has a wonderful spiciness to it. So if I were to do it all over again and I was on a very limited budget and I could only choose between the two, I would choose Baby Cat. I'm quite sure other people would choose differently, but that's my take on the two fragrances. Neither one of them are blind by, they're both expensive. I personally got my bottle of Baby Cat on Selfridges. I purchased the $55 of shipping, one year shipping from Selfridges. I have had some issues with them, I will say. I don't know if I'm gonna renew with them this year, we'll see. But I was alerted by a friend that they had a couple bottles a couple weeks ago and I snatched it up. So if you're looking, if you're interested, you're in the US where it's really hard to get I would look on Selfridges. That is where I know you can get them. And I think people in Europe have a much easier time tracking down a bottle. As far as price is concerned, I wanna say I picked this up for 158 US dollars and I believe this is a 1.7 ounce. The number five, I get a lot of my expensive fragrances on a website called, well, it's actually a storefront, it's called Nose Paris. They carry just about everything and because the exchange rate a lot of times perfume becomes more expensive as it's shipped overseas. And so I got this at a great price. I will, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was a while ago. With the great exchange rate right now, the euro and the dollar are about one to one. I usually save a significant amount of money purchasing some of my more expensive fragrances there at Nose Paris. So, so that's it, just a quick run through of my take on the two fragrances, some of the similarities, some of the differences. And if you like these very quick side-by-side -side comparisons and you'd like to see more in the future, let me know in the comments down below and tell me which ones you'd like for me to do a side-by-side -side of and I will be happy to do that as long as I have the fragrances. Thanks for sticking around, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.